It's three years since I last did that. Three years. Yes. It's back to celebrate three years of me playing games really badly. It's oblivion. <laughs> oh, the drama. Now, back on my birthday, we did start playing this because I streamed it over Twitch. And unfortunately, the recording's gone missing. So, you're going to have to trust me when I say <laughs> that we honestly did do stuff. And I ended up with the name Babina Amble Latch. Happy to admit, I don't really remember that. The only thing that I did that afternoon was kill slaughterfish. And the last slaughterfish decided to go missing and I had to go off and find something else to do. So um, I decided to go to Wayne and Priory, which is exactly where we appear to be now. And for some reason, I've got a torch and I don't know why. But we can get rid of that. And as ever... You know me, I'm going to have problems with the uh, with the control system. Because I haven't changed it, so don't ask. Meanwhile, that looks nothing like me, but this is the character. I am going to be awesome. I'm going to be a lot better than uh, me. Because I'm a red guard. I'm a warrior red guard. And you are all in so much trouble. <laughs> That's a healing spell. Okay. So, uh... Where was I going? I'm not even sure. Over here somewhere. Just because I'm a red guard warrior doesn't mean I can't pick all the mushrooms, you know. It doesn't. Because I like picking mushrooms. Here we go. Is there anything free in the barrels first? Old habits. They die very, very, very hard. You see that cloth? You know, it's worth four gold pieces, isn't it? But I also happen to know that through these doors lies a whole world of stuff. If you think anything has changed, anything between now and three years ago. Yes? Can I help you? you got another thing coming. I must speak to Geoffrey. He's upstairs. Go ahead. Does he know anything about catching slaughterfish? Because I'm going to have to go back and do that, you know. Hello, mate. Can I have all your stuff? It's the only reason I'm here. That and the slaughterfish. I'm Brother Geoffrey. What do you to want? To kill that last bloody slaughterfish! Well, this cannot be. No one but the Emperor is permitted to handle the amulet. Let me see. No. <laughs> well, there's no option for no. By the nine. This is the Amulet of Kings. Who are you? How did you get this? What do you know of the Emperor's death? I am Gameplay Jenny. Uh, sorry, no I'm not. I'm Babina Amble Latch. Um, how I got here is anybody's guess. What I know about the Amulet of Kings is, well, it's red and it's shiny. As unlikely as your story sounds, I believe you. Only the strange destiny of Uriel Septim could have brought you to me carrying the Amulet of Kings. Who is the Prince of Destruction? I think you'll find it might be me. The Prince of Destruction he referred to is none other than Merun's Dagon, one of the lords of the demonic world of Oblivion. The Emperor's words, close shut the jaws of Oblivion, certainly suggest that he perceived some threat from Oblivion. But all the scholars agree that the mortal world is protected from the Daedra of Oblivion by magical barriers. I don't remember listening to any of this the first time round. Did I just get annoyed with him and tell him to get lost? Because that is entirely possible. Incidentally, whenever I think of Marunus Dagon and the Prince of Darkness and all that business, all I can think of now is Lord Business out of the Lego movie. I'm not sure. Only the Emperors truly understand the meaning behind the rituals of coronation. The Amulet of Kings is ancient. St. Alicia herself received it from the gods. It is a holy relic of great power. When an emperor is crowned, he uses the amulet to light the dragon fires at the Temple of the One in the Imperial City. With the emperor dead and no new heir crowned, the dragon fires in the temple will be dark for the first time in centuries. Do not just use a match. It may be that the dragon fires protected us from a threat that only the emperor was aware of. Yeah, mosquitoes, probably, or something. I don't remember having this conversation with you last time. Either I have a very, very bad memory, or I please stop doing that thing with your eyes. Is there something more interesting over there that you need me to know about? Don't do that. Oh, you've really put... Oh, no, you've really put me off now. What? Stop, no, don't do it the other way as well. Stop it. I'll just stop that. Anyway, um... Oh, no, that's really... Oh, oh, that's shifty. I'm going to have to look away. Um, what was I saying? I can't even remember, it probably wasn't even that important. 
yeah, three years ago, I don't remember having this conversation and I just have a feeling that maybe I just didn't listen to him and I'm not sure that listening to him now is doing me any good at all. I am one of the few who know of his existence. Many years ago, I served as captain of Uriel's bodyguards, the Blades. One night, Uriel called me into his private chambers. A baby boy lay sleeping in a basket. Uriel told me to deliver him somewhere safe. He never told me anything else about the baby, but I knew it was his son. From time to time, he would ask about the child's progress. Working at McDonald's, two stars. Now it seems that this illegitimate son is the heir to the Septim throne, if he yet lives. Where can I find him? Although you don't seem to know yourself, do you? Don't do that thing with your eyes. His name is Martin. He serves Akatosh in the chapel in the city of Kvach, south of here. You must go to Kvach and find him at once. If the enemy is aware of his existence, as seems likely, he is in terrible danger. And please, let me know if there's anything you need. My resources here are limited, but I will help in any way I can. What I need is all the stuff. I keep a few things here in my chest to resupply travelling blades. Help yourself to whatever you need. You don't have to tell me twice. Oh, also, can I have your garlic? Oh, wonderful. <sighs> anyway, right, what do I what do I want? I want these, don't I? All of those. And then how much of this stuff can I carry? I haven't really decided yet um, what I'm doing in terms of the whole uh, armour and weapons kind of thing. I seem to be wearing a load of broken rubbish though at the moment. Why am I wearing iron armour? I know as well as anybody that... Um, where on earth did I get those from? I, I can't even remember. Where did I get those from? Robe of deflection? Wow, I got up to quite a lot in that stream, didn't I? Good lord, okay. I Basically, let's just take everything that I can carry. That would seem like the uh, the best thing to do, and also everything that's worth money. Um, oh, hang on a second. What? Oh, did I just put that in the chest by accident? Start as you mean to go on, Danny. Right, what do I want? Dunno. I'll take your boots. And, uh I'll take your bow and your arrows. There we go. Can't really carry anything else. I've still got my uh, zappy staff. Although I may not need these things as much because I am a red guard warrior who will go raw. <laughs> um, yeah, wow. Okay, <laughs> first thing I need to do then is get rid of quite a lot of things. As usual. Right. Ah, good. Right. It's a nice day. Let's go back to town, shall we? Um, there's a town showing in the distance there, is there? Is that a town showing in the distance? Um, where am I? No, really, where am I? Oh, oh, don't know what that is. That looks like an exciting place to visit. No, seriously, though. Oh. Oh, yeah, we all know what that leads to. <laughs> it led to the end of the series last time. Um, no, seriously, though, where, where am I on there? There we go. Oh, it was the, actually Wayne and Priory. Battlehorn Castle. These all sound like very, very exciting places to visit. Maybe I should visit all these places this time. All the places I didn't visit last time. That sounds like an excellent idea. Right, so let's go to uh, the nearest town. Where I will get rid of some of my things. And then we will be ready for adventure. If by adventure I mean killing that stupid fish. Boing! The symbol of Choral. Coral, they call it Coral, don't they? It's the Great Oak. I'm not seeing any Great Oaks. I've been lied to. Right. What I need is great shops. What have we got here? The Oak and Crozier. That sounds pub-like. Back away, dog. Just back away. Whose dog is this? Is anybody taking responsibility for the dog? No? Oh, what? Anybody was taking responsibility for two dogs? No. Okay. Bizarre. I don't remember free-roaming dogs. What have we got in here? 
Renoir's books. Nope. You're not even a shop. Um, shops? Well, that wasn't a very good start, was it? You'd think I'd know by now, but I don't. I like the way I just sort of float. That's great. Sort of... There we go. In real life, you'd hear a loud bang. That'd be there in my ankles. Right, what we got here? Oh, fire and steel! That sounds more like something for a Red Guard warrior. Come on then, hello. Hello, I'm Rashida, the smith, and this is fire and steel. Quality armor and weapons. Repairs too. What can I do for you? All of it. You can do all of it for me. If I can't fix it, it ain't broke. Repair everything. Because then I can sell a load of it back to you. Have a look around. You won't find better prices than our Tamriel. Right, I'm sorry to do this, love, but I need to hang on with you. Merchant art is still expert. Oh, that's not fair. That's not fair. Let's try that. You've got to be... How about, how about that? But sorry, my computer's being a bit screwy because it's about a million degrees outside. How about that? Thank you. Right. I'm a red guard thing of a hard bargain. I don't need stupid arrows. I need big pointy swords. You can have my spare boots. Now, I've got to decide. Do I want to wear iron or do I want to wear leather? And the reason I'm asking this you is right. because you know me. I will almost certainly end up That's over encumbered immediately. And so I'm that thinking seems a heavy armour probably isn't a very good idea. But equally, you know, heavy armour. I'm a Red Guard warrior now. I can't be a wuss anymore, can I? So... Thank you for your patronage. I'm not really sure what to do. Bye. What are my skills in? Because whatever my skills are in, I should probably choose something else. Um, where do I find my skills? Here we go. Heavy armour is one of my major skills. You know what that means, don't you? I'm wearing light armour. <laughs> That's not cheating. That's just, um, being sensible. Whoa! Oh, Jelly put some clothes on. There we, there we go. I think I look cooler anyway. I don't care what you think. I also have this robe of deflection and a light armour vest. Oh! My god, I, I just look all wrong. I, I really do, but fine. That's how I'm going to walk around then. There we go. That worries me. Yes? Yeah, it does. It really worries me. Can I interest you in some of my wares? No, but uh, you can take all my iron stuff. A there we go. I'm going to keep that because if my magic item wears out in some way, then I have a feeling I'm probably going to want to... Uh... Hang on a second. Where is my magic item? It's not in my list. Is it? Oh no, she just doesn't buy it. Come course, because it's not Let's get item. to training. Right. Shall I train in some armoury while I'm here? Don't look at me with sort of sympathy. It, it just... I offer the finest goods and lowest prices in me. all Cyrodiil. Um, can I have some hammers? And then I can do all the repairing myself. There we go. It's just I'm going to run into a problem, aren't I? As usual. That a pleasure. If I don't skill up in armoury... I can show you some new things. I'm going to discover that I can't. Farewell. <laughs> I can't repair that. I look like a. I'm not even sure what I look like. Why did you do that to me? Why? Anyway, right here we are, town centre. I can't stand. Hello. I don't think we've met. Are you new in town? I am indeed. Likewise, I'm always glad to meet someone new. Welcome. I'm sure my mother would be glad to meet you as well. Your mother? Does she really exist? My mother owns Northern Goods and Trade in Coral. Oh, okay. Take care. Everybody's been much nicer to me this time around. How are you today? Have I already joined the Fighters Guild? Because 
If I haven't, I imagine I probably intended to. Factions, nope. In that case... FIGHT! Right, I want to do some fighting. Can you help? You're not afraid of trouble, are you? You'd like the Fighter's Guild. Good. Sign me up. If you're interested, see Valena Donton in Coral, or Azan in Anvil, or Burr's Grokash in Chaitenhall. Not you, then. No? You too. Well, that's rubbish. Oh! I just saw somebody escape up the stairs there! There was no escape. Who do I need to speak to? It's Is it you? you? Hi. Oh. Hello. Have you seen Valis Odile recently? Spends all day in the tavern, senses boys like Probably not a bad idea. You look tough. Want to join the Fighters Guild? I do, but I'm sure you're in the wrong town. If you're interested, see Valena Danton in Coral, or Azan in Anvil, or Burrs Grokash in Shedinor. Ah, your curs grow bar- yeah. I get it. Join you. the guild. Uh, yeah, you won't awesome. regret it. Right, the question is then, where is this person? Well, no, the question actually is why am I sinking? But the question is, where is this person? Where is said person who can give me membership? Hello! Hi. Is it you? It's you! Greetings. How may I help you? Are you perhaps interested in joining the Fighters Guild? I am, but you don't look much like a Fighters Guild leader. You look positively terrified. The Fighters Guild is always looking for new members. If you've got a clean record and don't have a bounty on your head, we may be able to use you. What? Are you interested in joining? No bounty on my head, how dare you? Excellent. You are now an associate in the Fighters Guild. Result. You should report to either Azan in Anvil or Burr's Grow Cash in Shadenel for contracts. What? Can you can you not give me anything to do then? Be seen. Oh. Well, that's rubbish, isn't it? I sort of assumed that people would give me things to do here. I'll have a kit then. I'll have a long kit. There we go. Very long kit. Oh, look, it's turned us. <laughs> Does anybody remember that joke? Mm. Ten points if you, if you do. Right, here we go then. Speed plus five. Yes, definitely. Um, Here we go with the whole, oh no, I've missed all my plus fives thing again. In about 190 episodes time, I can promise you that we're going to run into problems. But that's okay, because I don't care. Right. Strength. Do I want strength? Probably do. But then agility. Manoeuvre and balance. If I'm going to be fighting with my hands and stuff, then I imagine I probably do want those. There we go. Just for once, I don't want magic-y things, which is very weird. I always thought that I'd want magic-y things, but just for once, I don't. What I want instead is some better clothes. Um... Oh, look, pointy things. Oh, a bit dangerous. Not sure about that. Right. Hello. You've been out late. Great. Right, so um, what I want to do then is is do stuff. I, every time I open this menu now, that is going to just distract the living daylights out of me and probably you. There we go. We'll just have my head. Oh, yuck. That's even worse. Um. So, yes, what I need to do then is... um. Find some people who take all this rubbish. But then, questy questy, um, I need to uh, get an active quest because at the moment my life is devoid of purpose. So we can find Martin. We go through that doorway, which would just be at the end of everything, so we're not doing that. We could do Nernut. We could go back to the fish. Unfriendly competition. Repairing something. Frostcrag Spire. Battlehorn Castle. Ooh, they're offering the castle. They're offering the castle. I want a castle. And it's just there. Oh, this could be the biggest opportunity I've ever had. Fantastico. Right. I'm going to do that then. Come back in the next episode when I will attempt to get my own castle. Gameplay Jenny.